Grand Master Kallio is teaching you the rules of chess. First, take a chess board and the chess pieces and raise your right hand up and put it in the corner of the board. You should find a white square. If it's a black one, you have to turn a bit. These are pawns. There are eight black ones, eight white ones, and they belong to the second rank. They move forward, never sideways, never backward, always forward. They can move one square like this, like this forward, or you can eat opponent's pawn going one square diagonally. When you start from the second rank, you can all also move two squares, like this. And then, this is what happens. The square which you jumped over, they will become a ghost. And now black can eat the ghost, and this pawn disappears. The ghost will be there for only one move, and only a pawn can eat the ghost. You can also eat this pawn, if you have a pawn here. You can also go forward, or you can eat this pawn. And now I'm going to show you a game which you can play only with the pawns. Put eight white pawns here, eight black pawns here, and if you get to the last rank, you win. If you eat all opponent's pawns, you win. If you cannot move, you lose. If there is a position where neither of the players can move, the one to move loses. These are rooks. Two white rooks, two black rooks. They belong to the corners. The rooks move in straight way. To the side, other side, forward or backward. As many squares as you want to. The rook cannot jump over any piece. The rook can go to the square of the ghost. It can eat the pawn which created the ghost. It can go over the ghost, but it cannot eat the ghost. Now you can play a game with rooks and pawns. This is very interesting already. Same rules as with the pawns, but if you get the rook to the last rank, you don't win. If you eat opponent's rooks, you don't win. The game goes on. If you eat all opponent's pawns, the game ends immediately. If it's like this, the pawn gets to the last rank and the rook is able to eat it. This pawn moves, wins immediately. The game ends here. So if you get to the last rank, you win. Then we have knights, horses, two white ones, two black ones. They belong next to the rook and they move in a L-shaped way. Two squares somewhere, one square another way. Two squares, one square, two square, one square. A knight can jump over a piece. You are never allowed to eat your own pieces. A knight can go backward if it likes. Then we have bishops. Two white bishops, two black bishops. And they belong next to the knights. And the bishop moves diagonally. Forward or backward. How many squares you want to. And a bishop cannot jump over a piece. If a bishop starts in the white square, it will stay there throughout the game. Then we have the queens. A black queen and a white queen. The black queen belongs to the black square in the middle. The white queen in the white square. 
and it moves as a combination of a rook and a bishop. It cannot move like a knight, but it can go straight or diagonally. And then we have the most important pieces in the game. The kings. Before I teach you how they move, I'm going to show you the rule of promotion. When you get to the last square, to the last rank, you have to promote it. Promote your pawn to the queen, or bishop, or knight, or a rook, whatever you like. You can also eat and promote at the same time. So with the kings, you don't win if you get to the last rank with a pawn, but you promote it. And the king moves one square to any direction, just like a queen, but only one square. And if the opponent is making a threat to your king, this is called a check. You always have to remove yourself from the check, either by eating the piece which is making the check, putting something in between the check, or removing the check by, by moving the king. If the situation is such that you cannot move your king away from the check, you cannot remove the check, you are checkmated. This is the idea of the game, to checkmate the opponent. And then there is one special rule called castling. You move two squares towards the rook with your king and the rook goes to the center side of the king. Either short short castling or long castling. Two squares towards the rook and the rook to the center side. You cannot castle when you are in a check and you ca cannot castle through a check. If a bishop is here, you cannot castle short because you would walk through a check. You can castle long because the king is not going through a check. A rook can go through a threat. Now, in chess, the white pieces make the first move, then black makes a move, then white makes a move. So you make one move at a time. You are always forced to move. When it's your move, you have to move. The idea is to make a checkmate. You can offer a draw or you can resign. Now, you know the rules. Find a friend and start to play. It's a fun game.